bitch. Oh, jeez, Louise. There we go. So, the fishing trip. What do you remember? I caught a trigger fish, a pork fish, and a grunt. Y'all can hear him. He said he caught a trigger fish, a pork fish, and a grunt. It's like marine. Or. He just came out of the water. And he was like, help! <laughs> this kid's got me. What kind of bait do you use? Crayon? Good yes. way to catch him. No, uh, I remember that we're leaving and this kid goes look iguanas <laughs> and they were some big iguanas just sitting out there on the side of the water and so he's like Rick, record them record them jump out and get them i'm like i ain't jumping off this boat to go get no dang iguana he wouldn't let me i wasn't gonna let you no because we're going on a fishing trip the boat's gonna leave you just said we were getting back no when we were leaving and we were getting back you still weren't doing it yeah i've seen you try to jump you i didn't fall. have to jump would you stop moving so much? Be still. No. But he, I hope he flips. But, uh, see, the fishing trip was awesome. We got on the boat and they go through the, you know, how to hook each bait on, how to put each bait on the hook the right way so that you don't, you know, lose your bait, I guess, which didn't really help any because I lost a lot of bait. Fish just eating the bait off the hook. Like they could have been nice when I took the hook, but no, they, they just got the bait. But they went through that, and uh, the uh, the guys on the boat were really cool. They answered any questions you had. They came and gave you a demonstration of how to use the fishing rod, which didn't help this one any because he still ended up getting his line tangled up a bunch. Twice. Yes, twice. Oh, you admit it now. When it happened, this is what happened. It was his fault. You posted. There's this little. Uh, thing on there, you push it, and you push to keep your thumb on the line so that it doesn't go too fast. Because then it comes out too soon and gets tangled up. This kid, like, Wee gets tangled up, and I look at him and goes, "I didn't do this." I'm like, "What? You didn't do it? Did a fish come up here and do it? How'd you not do it?" But he did that twice. But I will say, the guy beside me, as soon as he dropped his line in the water, caught a fish, and I'm like, "Man." I wonder if there's anything on mine. I reel, I, I, I reel it in. I look, and I hooked a fish on the side of the face. Didn't even get, he didn't even get to eat. He just got pulled right out of the water by aliens. But uh, I don't know, you know. It was a grouper. It was a grouper. Ask Mr. What are you? Fish encyclopedia. Fishingpedia. Fishopedia. And then uh, the guy's like. Go ahead and pull it on the boat. But when you catch the fish, you're supposed to yell fish on. When you yell fish on, then one of the mates will come and make sure it's not a deadly poisonous fish that you're gonna get stabbed and die because they're not taking you back in time. Well, I can't remember. But uh, anyways, so the guy's like, oh, just go ahead and put your hands in the gills. Well, I didn't know this thing had little spikes in its gills. So I put my hand in the gills and I get stabbed and I yank my hand back. He goes, what, are you scared? Like, no, it stabbed me. So, I, so I, I, I get it out, we take the hook off of it, and it has like a little wire out sticking out of the side of it. I don't know what happened with that fish, but it's a remote control fish. I didn't even get a real one. So we threw it back in, and I'm laughing because I've caught a fish, the guy beside me's caught a fish, other people have caught fish, he still hadn't caught a fish. And if y'all have followed us, we call Nathan fish repellent because for a long time he would fish and couldn't catch anything. But we broke his uh, curse. What was it? He caught three fish? Three fish. I only caught two. Did I catch two trigger or just one? You caught one trigger, a pork fish, and some Good other bro. fish. And a grunt, yeah. So he caught three, I caught two, which isn't bad. That's more than I've ever caught <clears throat> with this catch. Two? Yes, I did. What'd you catch? I caught that grouper mm -hmm. and that other one. The one the guy helped me get on this boat. I don't know what it's called. I'm not a fish a fishologist. I, well, I caught two. I got pictures of them. They're probably showing somewhere. Unless I'm wrong. God, I hope I'm not wrong. That'd be bad. That yeah. he caught more fish Remember? than Because I don't know. Well, fine. Either way, I went with Lewis and caught more fish than you've ever Shut caught with Lewis. Up. Ha ha ha. Stop. No, uh. But uh, it was nice. They took us out and we fished for a little while in one spot and we're like, pulling your lines, we're gonna go somewhere else. We went somewhere else. 
nothing. No one caught anything. No one caught anything in the next spot. The next spot we went to, uh, I think that's when you caught your pork fish. And it, oh, that was the most beautiful fish I've ever seen. It's like a bright yellow. There's a, we'll show you a picture of it. It was a gorgeous fish. But uh, apparently those are protected. So you can't, what do you say? You can't possess a dead one? You said you can't take the one. You said if you have a, you have to have a special license and a special tank and to transport it, but it is illegal to possess one a dead one because they're protected so so you just have a pork fish in your aquarium and then it gets sick and then you get arrested apparently that's what he said like man you better make sure you feed this thing right that's what he said that is what he said anyways this boy doesn't listen to people when they talk that's why he was too scared to touch the dang fish i was not scared to touch the fish did you touch the fish yeah i did did you touch your fish? Yeah, yeah you got stabbed. I got stabbed. You don't even have a picture of you touching it. He's just like standing over the side like, it's going to bite me. No, but for real. Uh, we had a great time. You had fun? We, had, we went inside a couple times because it was hot on that water. Yeah, it was passed out. He's weak. He can't handle it. You almost passed out too. You laid down. I took a nap. I was tired. So you did pass out. Now you're trying to play it off as yeah. a nap. I conveniently passed out whenever I felt like it. Lay down. I, I didn't really take a nap because he wouldn't shut up, but uh, I tried. I kept him in the water <laughs> I attempted the nap. It didn't work. But um, I was on the way back in, by the way. I didn't like, oh, I'm going to stop fishing and go take a nap. We fished like the whole time, except when we were moving around. But it was nice. There was uh, a lot of people on the boat. And there was people like pulling fish up like, Constantly. Somebody called that big old, what was that big fish they called? I think it was a Spanish mackerel. Either way, it was like this long. Let me get my hands in. This long. They had to walk from the back of the boat, well, all the way up the side to catch, and they had to bring that big uh, little hook thing out and pull up on the boat. It was huge. I think I got a picture of it. I don't know. I believe I either I got a picture or I got a little video clip of it. I'm not sure. Big little hook thing. Yep. Hey. From the south, that's how we scrap stuff. I'm from Alabama. I can, I can describe things how I want. So you be quiet, Mister. I didn't know that uh, house structures means that if it's got a bunch of windows throwing a rocket, it's going to just collapse the whole house. I did not say that. He did say that. No, it's I even on not. the video. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, we had a great time. I don't know. I kind of, I, I kind of uh, wish we'd have caught a little bit more fish, something we could have eaten, but. You know, gonna, at this like, time of the year, apparently it's like hit and miss. Room? Probably, I don't know. I think I don't they know. Have that wire so they have like a size. Either way, a lot of the fish, there's a certain. Yeah, that'd be a certain size to keep them. And this time, in the time of the year that we went fishing, it. Uh, I don't know. There wasn't. They weren't really hitting as much. I guess you would say. A lot of people did catch fish that they got to keep. There was some that you could have as much as you, any size you wanted. These people were like, I, I'll take it. Time to time, I can't even get anything off of it. Hey, do you want to keep a fish? Keep a fish. But, uh, you know, I didn't even tell them where we, who we went fishing with. Who was it? Do you remember? Fishing headquarters in Fort Lauderdale. We did the drift fishing. Catch your drift. Yeah, the boat was called Catch Your Drift. We did the, the four-hour drift fishing. And it was... It was a great time. I, I think it was the the end of it when they had us throw all the bait over <laughs> and, the, and the seagulls and pelicans are like dive bombing after it, almost hitting people in the head. A pelican almost ate the other seagull. Yeah, there was a seagull in there getting some bait and pelicans like, nope, that's mine. Almost hit the whole thing. Bird and all. But it was awesome. Uh, you tell them what they used. I don't know what we used. What we used? It was Talk louder so I can hear you. It was the one fish. Thing, it was a fish thing squid. and squids. We used you fish said thing. little big hook thing, so the, don't even start. <laughs> we used the little fish thing and squid. But uh, yeah, they they had a store all calamari. over. Raw calamari. I didn't give you five dollars to eat it. You said that on the boat. Did say that on the boat, didn't I? Anyways, we uh, when they bring us back in, you know the guys are really nice. They're offering to help anyone that had fish that needs it, you know, filleted and prepped for them. 
the captain was really informative. He told anytime anything we were doing anything, moving the boat or he wanted us to, I don't know, try changing a different position or something. He let us know. It was very helpful. The guys were very knowledgeable on the boat. They came. They would answer any questions you had. They were really uh, helpful. Like I had my, my line got stuck on the bottom, so we had to snap it, and they had to get me a new a new hook and everything. And as soon as I told them, they were right on it. Like they didn't waste time. And then uh, there was some people that got their lines stuck on the bottom too. I wasn't the only one, but it was it was fun. We got a lot a yeah, lot of experience. The dad got the line stuck in. We're drifting, so he's just like kind of not moving the line. He's not letting the line out. He's just like moving himself. I just leaned. We were barely moving. You I was waiting for the guy lean. to come back. I, was gonna snap. I didn't want to snap the line. I didn't know what he wanted me to do. Apparently, he wanted me to snap the line. Yeah. Why didn't you just say snap the line? Because he had a knife. He used it. He used the knife. Oh, yeah. He, he took, took my pole it upside, upside down. down and Pow! <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have done that, I'd have fallen off the boat and maybe hit everybody on the boat with a fishing pole. And I'd have And you would have went down with me. Oh, you can't swim. I had to hold you. But it, it was fun. You could actually, if you look, when we looked in the water, you could see the fish swimming around. At the one spot. It was two spots. The two deepest spots you could see them in a certain area. But the water was beautiful. The trip out from the dock, out in the, out in the water was gorgeous. The sky, it, was a, it was a great day to go fishing. It was hot, but it was a great day. And uh, we had a great time. What else? We went to McDonald's and they no. didn't give me my milkshake. They still charge you for it. We're not talking about McDonald's. You said what else? On the fishing trip, got on the boat. We're editing that part out. No, we're not. No, we're not editing this. This is funny. He's mad because. He, I paid he ordered for a milkshake, milkshake at and they McDonald's. gave me a soda. No, he ordered a milkshake at McDonald's, paid for it, and they informed him that the milkshake machine was down. I guess no, the ice cream no, no, machine no. was down. She, she looked at me and says, we don't have any ice cream. Yeah, they didn't have any ice cream. So they gave him a soda, which he had already paid for the milkshake, which was extra on his meal. So he paid extra and didn't even get it. So he, he's still sore about it. Yeah, I'm going back there and getting an extra chicken nugget. Chicken tender. No, he's not. But, uh, <laughs> this boy. But it was awesome. Uh, what else happened on the boat, though? What do you remember? What do you enjoy the most about it? You kept getting your line tangled up without one We got our lines tangled up twice, and it was his fault. It was not twice. And then you hooked the other dude's hook. No, he hooked my line, and then the dude beside me and the dude down there both hooked the same fish. Yeah. yeah. Someone hooked each other's hooks. No, the other guy hooked my line. But then uh, two people hooked the same fish. But one, apparently, when you go on these trips, if two people hook the same fish... Whoever got, in the, got in the mouth. Yeah, whoever, whoever has the hook in the fish's mouth wins. So, what you do is when no one's looking, you shove your hook in the mouth like, I got it. No, that's... <laughs> But no, it was it was real nice. To, uh, there were some people that didn't want to bring their fish home, and the guy next to me wanted it, so they just gave it to him. So I'm like, hmm, that's pretty cool. But we we'll have to do it again. It was, uh, I think it was called Fishing Headquarters, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. We passed it, though, because it's a little bitty parking lot, so I drove down to the beach to park, which was a mistake, because it was really hot walking back to the beach. But they got a little parking lot there you can park and there's a bunch there, there's a couple boats but the one we did was the drift fishing because it was four hours that's about as much as i can take on a boat fishing at the time they have some longer trips but we did the four hour one it was awesome we had a great time uh i think we smelled like fish the whole way home we even wear the same shirts right now i wore my red shirt talking about right now like we're wearing the same color shirts right now. Yeah. Oh. We're matching. You should wear your blue why jeans. Didn't, why, didn't, no. why didn't you say we're wearing the same shirt right now? Or no, we're matching. You said we were wearing the same. You have an ant calling on you. You have one on your nose. It's fine. But, uh. It's fine. I snorted it. Good way to get that protein. But no, we, we enjoyed Fort Lauderdale. We love the fishing. 
There was some funny stuff you were talking about the other day to your mother. Well, she should have had us record the video the other day then, because <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I don't either. You, 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 did, you said something funny according to what we were doing. Mom's like, you have to act the same on the video. But we had a great time. The fishing was amazing. The, the crew was awesome and very helpful. And we would recommend people going on the fishing trips. If not, take this one here with you, and then you could just watch him tangle his lineup and blame somebody else. It's awesome. It was the dude on the other side. Of the <laughs> but that's that's it.